So we'll be going over how to build containers using Singularity. So it will go with um, building external, building containers from external repositories. Just before we start, just before I demonstrate, uh, so, oh, sorry. So there's two different types of image formats that you should be aware of. So there's the Singularity image format, the SIF files. These are compressed and read only, and they are unmodifiable. Uh, they are shown as files in the file system. And then there's the sandbox directory format, which is uncompressed and modifiable. Uh, this appears as a directory when you look at it in the file system. Uh, so it's easy to convert one format to another. It's more of a Rather than a converting, it's more of a creating a new one with a different format, but I'll demonstrate this in shortly. Uh, so this is the command to build Singularity containers. So it's the Singularity build command uh, to create a new container. You may need sudo depending on uh, what you're building. If you're just converting, uh, you don't need sudo writes, but if you're building from a definition file, you are going to need sudo and a couple of other uh, functionalities are reserved just for root user. And the first uh, positional argument, you you need to give the image name that you will create. And then uh, the last uh, positional argument, you need to give the target. So you have several options for a target. I will demonstrate this shortly. Uh, so default uh, functionality, if you just use this command, it's going to build the SIF image format. So uh, so this one, the compressed and read only uh, image. If you add the sandbox option, the parameter to in front of the build, you, you can build a sandbox image. So I'll just um, quickly demonstrate how to build containers from external repositories. So so the target, I said you have several options here. What you can do is give an image URI. It's, uh, it stands for Uniform Resource Identifier. Uh, it's an ID for an external resource. And you can specify, so Singularity gives several options on the different targets. Uh, I'm just going to quickly show you the official documentation. So this is the official documentation uh, is a user guide for Singularity 3.9 and you can go to the build a container section and then you can find some information about the build target. So your I be beginning with library and Docker goes to uh, targets container library and Docker hub, etc. Uh, there's a bit more um, information in the, the definition file section where it gives you the list of uh, uh, bootstrap agents so these are some of your other options but I'll go over this in a bit more depth in the definition file building from definition files so let's move that aside so I mentioned yeah you can specify the target uh, URI to go to docker or library so I think I've got some examples so building from an image in docker hub you can so this, you can try this command in your command line. Build a container based on the above command container. So this is a container in Docker Hub. So say, say you wanted to, to you wanted to build this container in your library. You can you can use this command. So here, this is the key part. So it's the Docker colon slash slash, and then I've put the repository name and and the image name. So I've copied this basically. And here, so after running the above command, you should see a new Docker underscore local dot sif container that has been built, uh, and then this is something. So this is nearly the same, but I'm setting the target as the container library. So this location. Okay, so the the URL 
has changed since I last made this presentation. So I'm just going to quickly change this on the fly. So I found the I found the changed uh, image location, and this is the URL that I should input. So I'm just going to change that. Just copy that and then put it in here. Right, that's done. And then this should be, yeah, this is the same. Uh, so build a container. Yes, yeah, so I've changed the target. It's basically the same uh, container that was in Docker Hub that I just showed, but this uh, image has been uploaded to both uh, Singularity Container Library and Docker Hub, basically. So, so I'm building the same image, but in a different location and a different name. So, and there are also, I can also uh, download specific tags. So Docker can have one. So for instance, I'll just find our base. So this is the official R base image from Docker Hub. And this is one repository, This, um, but there are multiple images of the RBase image, but with different tags, where the maintainer provides uh, multiple tags. Uh, so for instance, um, R with different versions have different tags. So if there was a specific uh, container image that I wanted to download, I can specify the tag as well by using the colon so this is just uh, explanation and then here at the end of my my target i can put a colon and then the tag name that i want to download specifically so now for the actual demonstration so here i've got my command line i'm in a directory it's this is from a previous previous tutorial. So here, now I'm going to do singularity, build. Uh, I'm going to build the R base image Docker from Docker Hub. Uh, let me just get the URL, URL again. Just put that to the side and then go back here. So the so first I need to give the name of the image I want so uh, locale.sif and then here I'm going to do god love dc locale and this is going to start building so I paused the video I paused the recording for a bit because it was taking a while. So this is just building, it's downloading the the layers of the image and it's creating the zip file. Now it's created. So this is the image that has been created. So you can see it's a file. It just looks like an ordinary file. And I've got a uh, run. Uh, so the image has been built so that if you just execute, so the the container itself is executable and the executable is running some command that has been brief defined in the definition file. I will go over this later. And this is just uh, uh, the command, it just uh, outputs a random quote with the cow uh, using, saying the quote with different colors. It's just a joke, I guess. So that is the command to build a CIF format image. What I could do is add a sandbox option and to say I wanted to change the output name. I can build that. This might take a while, so I'm just going to quickly pause the, the recording. Okay, so the sandbox image has been created as well. If I do uh, long listing, so there's my file, 
the zip format container image and then this is the sandbox image I just created and you see by this uh, definition uh, it's a directory so I can look inside this as well and you see it looks like the root of a a Linux operating system and we'll go over on how to how to interact with images later in a different video but this is essentially how you can build the two different types of image say I wanted to uh, convert one image to another I can do singularity build and then say I wanted to convert this sieve format into a sandbox image I'll do uh, sandbox and do locale converted dot SIMG and then I could I will specify instead of the URI so the, the address I would just specify the path to the the image that I want to convert so if I do that you don't need to worry about the warning uh, it's just trying to verify whether there's a signature in the image but it's nothing too important so the build has completed so now we have three images so one is just built from the external repository one is built as a sandbox from the external repository and this was converted from this image so if I wanted to uh, convert the other way around so I want to convert convert a sandbox image to a CIF format image I, I would do um, locale converted dot SIF and then the path to my singularity uh, sandbox image so this will convert sandbox image to the uh, singularity image format so I won't go into depth about how to interact with the images here but just to demonstrate that I, I mentioned I mentioned in the slides where the the SIF file image oh sorry the SIF file image is compressed and read only whereas the sandbox is uncompressed and modifiable just to demonstrate this I'm going to do some uh, modifications so I'm going to open a shell inside the locale SIF and you see if I look at the root of the container it looks like a Linux operating system because it essentially it is so if I do that or it's release it's an Ubuntu image whereas if I go outside and then I check my hosts uh, the host systems OS it's it's Ubuntu but it's a different version you see how the inside of the image is 16.04 uh, now just going back into the SIF format image um, so here I said it's not modifiable what I meant was so the the SIF format images um, when you're opening, when you're trying to interact with it, when you're opening a shell or you're executing a command, um, under the hood, what Singularity does is make a temporary file system, and uh, you try to run things there. So, say I wanted to, it's an Ubuntu image, so I could do like apt get install and then try to install a, a system package. This is going to fail. because it's unable to, I need to update first. Let me just update. I'm going to pause the video for a bit. So you see here, um, so the, the update failed because of uh, some other reason other than the CIF, uh, CIF format image being compressed and unmodifiable. It's because I, I opened the shell without root privilege, so that's why the app get uh, update failed but just to just to explain that it failed because well because of the even if I did open a shell with the root uh, 
privilege this would fail because it can't um, because it's compressed and read only it's only it's not able to modify any of the system packages so if I just exit and then I just add sudo and then go inside again and if I do app get update this is going to take a while again okay the update command finished and you see here it's read-only file system so everything failed basically uh, read-only file system so if um, you're in a SIF format you can't modify a lot of things you can do say if there was a Python package uh, Python installed and you could do install uh, user and then a package say pandas that would work because what by default singularity binds your uh, home directory inside the container so so if you do pip install and then you add the user it will basically install this package in your user python library same for r if you install r and then specify the library to install packages into your user library that's also going to stay but nothing's going to be saved inside the the container so i'll go out uh you can so now i'm going to try modify the the sandbox image format so this uh i'll just show you that this is also going to fail because i'm not using the the writable uh option when I'm making a shell inside so there's a spe separate option that you need to specify saying that you want to persist the changes that you make uh, with this uh, session so I didn't add the writable option so this is going to fail you see here again it's the read-only file system so it couldn't uh, change anything so I'm going to go out of the container again and then this time I'm going to add the writable option and now I'm inside now uh, don't worry too much about this warning but if I do app get update again I'm going to pause the video because it's going to take some time okay it didn't take too long but now this completed this worked this time because I'm inside the sandbox image container which is modifiable and I also added the writable option when I made a shell inside it so I I'm telling singularity that I want to keep the modifiable changes that I made so here now I can do install I don't know let's let's install nano and this is going to work and then now I have nano installed uh, etc uh, password just just to, just to check that this is working and then I don't have wget, I can do it. Uh, get install wget and install that and this would be installed so I can use this command now okay so what you could you know I'll just just for demonstration I can try to use the writable option with the SIF format image but this is going to cause an error fatal this doesn't have a writable overlay so you can't like I said before this is compressed and read only so you can't make any modifiable changes so that's why the writable trying to open a shell in the SIF format image with the writable option will fail okay that is it for now next video I think I will go over how to build images using definition files where so you are adding your own uh, build commands on top of a pre-existing image so uh, if that was helpful please leave a like uh, if you have any questions you can leave a comment i, I will answer best i can and thank you